Hello and welcome to Farm Space. I'm at Devlin Limousines here at the Valdam and uh, we're talking about the upcoming auction on the 21st of May. And now that's just after Nampo, the day after Nampo. So you can just drive from both of all, all the way up here to, to Devlin and enjoy a lovely day here on the farm next to the dam. And even after you've bought some of the best uh, limousines in the country, you can uh, bring your fishing rods as well and join us for a little bit of fun maybe. But anyway, let's talk about John about his auction and what you can expect. John, welcome to Farm Space. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Tina. It's lovely having you here and welcome. Uh, it's been, it's been, it's been a. We've been here for a few days now. Um, we've spent some time with the cattle or some of it, and um, we've walked through them and and you've made some tough decisions up and down. Um, I'm gonna come back to that a little later. But the limousine as a breed and the breeder society as as has been quite busy over the through here. What is your feeling? Where is the breed going? And is it going to, in a good direction? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we were suffering a bit over mm -hmm. the last 10 years or so, but uh, we've really turned it around. Uh, we've got, uh, we fixed up the finances mm -hmm. and we are able to do herd inspections, have farmer's days, do videos. Mm -hmm. So we've definitely turned it around and, and the, the, the breed is in a really good space at the moment. We, we, the, the numbers are growing and um, there's a lot of positivity about is no politics in our breed. We're, we're one unified uh, lot of breeders trying to build the breed going forward into the future. So yeah, the, the, the future looks bright for us. Well, that's a, that's a good sign. And I think for cattle all, all over the country, it is a, it's a very positive outlook. Um, coming back to your auction and to your herd, um, your selections on the female, we spent some time with some of the uh, heifers yesterday and the bulls as well. Um, and then you said to me, no, this must go, this is, this yep. is out, this is in. So you've made a few changes that you, that's still coming up and you're going to add some new animals. Uh, give me some of your thinking and behind that. Yeah. You know, we, I think we're one of the oldest herds in the country. We've been, we want, we're certainly one of the biggest, if not the biggest. Um, so we've got a lot of genetic variation in this herd and a lot of very good females. Um, and we, it's been years and years of selection and reselection. And our fertility is excellent within the herd. Um, and the animals are very feminine and fertile. Um, and, and we have a very good intercarving period. And um, so, yeah, what we're doing for this sale is selecting the, the, the very, very best genetics. Mm -hmm. And it'll be available for your consideration on 21st mm -hmm. May. Yeah. So you've just taken out some of the... the because you made your selection without maybe seeing all of them. You don't live on the farm 24-7. Correct. Um, and when you saw them, you said, well, this is not going to no, work. Exactly. This, is not, this is not an elite yeah, animal, no. and you want an elite, yeah, elite yeah. auction. Am I understanding you Correct. correctly? No, it, it needs to be a showcase mm. for the breed. So our standard has to be right up there. Um, and, mm. and, and that's the goal and objective is to make sure that we give a very good offering of female and male bulls to the market. And... Uh, um, I think the, the future of the breed in, in Southern Africa, because they, they, they well adapted throughout Southern Africa, is, is bright. And um, the, the animals going into Zambia, into Botswana, uh, into the Kalahari, all, all around. So, um, yeah, we, 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 we hope it's going to be a great sale because of that. Yeah, no, as, as, as we know, they, they, we see we've got uh, uh, Arturi all the way in Zambia. We've got um, Aja all the way in the Western Cape. Okay. Um, uh, Jan Stichling all the way in um, Botswana. Botswana. So it's really, you, you do get the breed everywhere. Um, yeah. I know that it's up in KZN. It's here in Free State, Mulanga uh, area, uh, which is quite sour felt mo most of the time. So it does adapt sort of everywhere. Um, it does yeah. survive and it's a lot harder than one might think. Yeah. No, it's wonderful to get a phone call from various breeders around the country saying how well adapted the, the, the limousines yeah. are and how well they're doing on yeah. their farms. Uh, yeah. It does warm one's heart, and uh, yesterday I got another phone call from a guy who wants to come and buy some animals next week, specifically for that reason. And he, he loves the limousine, and he's been trying with various breeds, and I'm not going to mention those names, but he's, <laughs> he's, he likes the, the limos. Yeah, and then so you, he's there. Yeah. Yeah. And you're even selling uh, one of the bulls that you bought from the Northwest, from Derek, I think. Yes, uh, yes. And he's going on sale, and he's yeah. a top provider. And I just I totally forgot about that in our earlier conversation we had. But that, that's something that shows. He's, they come down to the northwest, come over here, it just it's well, fitting it, and it's, it's, looking, it's looking great and it did a great job for you. you no, know, he's done an amazing job. Uh, it's the sale of the national champions. Mm. We, we're fortunate and privileged to have mm. the, the two national champions in the herd mm. at the moment. And um, Zarela Italia, 
is a great bull. He's made a big impact in our herd. And um, we've got um, uh, Devland Geishagel, who also won the national champion. Um, we, we're privileged to breed her. And so, yeah, I think um, the offering is going to be a good one. And some of the animals in the background here are a, a testament to that. Yeah, you can just see the milk on some of them. There's, yeah. there's some real milk in this herd. And as obviously you can see it on, uh, on the calf here behind us. There's, there's, there's definitely some great growth. Um, and you can just watch the animal and you see what all, she, she's going to look after a, a calf at the end of the day. Yeah. What, what we do try and do is breed the right type of animal for African conditions. Yeah. They've got to be able to survive in a drought. Mm. I mean, obviously, it's lush and beautiful at the moment with all the rain we've had, yeah. but it can get tough here. It gets very cold here on this farm. Uh, the cattle have to adapt. Um, they have to be hardy and tough. Yeah. And the cows have to produce a calf every year. Otherwise, they they no longer. So, um, yeah. And we also try and make our animals breed a lot of beef and carry a lot of beef on them. Um, not too big, middle of the road, balance in everything we do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once you go bigger, you lose. It's always that. Yeah. A, a, a trade-off if you go yeah. too big you lose fertility yeah. and you lose other stuff as yeah. well yeah. um maybe some what do you call it uh some toughness or uh, some of its um, adaptability yeah. yeah um but overall the the herd is is there is balance there is some big something bigger something a little smaller so you do cater for for more than one buyer yeah i, I think your most important thing with females is the femininity of the females yeah. and the fertility those are two really non-negotiable things yeah. about and uh, you've got to just try and find the right type of animal that, that can produce a calf every year and wean a live calf. Uh, so how many bulls exposed to the bull weaned a live calf? That's, that's the test. Yeah, so yeah. Business, you need to, the factory needs to give something every year yeah. and it's, it needs to look after, yeah. after it every year. So Absolutely. you need fertility, you need milk. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing the compounding effect of fertility. Mm -hmm. 2, 4, 8, 16, mm -hmm. 32, 64, mm -hmm. 128. And it's like a factory. This, this place, as fast as I can sell, as fast as they produce. Mm. So uh, you've got to keep going. You've got to keep selling. Yeah. Okay. How many females do you have on offer at the auction? Um, Just sort of roughly running. about 70, 70 of them and about 15 bulls. Mm. So it's a, it's a very nice offering. Good, good opportunity to pick up some good females on, on the auction. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. we've got a lot of rain, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, grass at the moment. So it's a good time to, to, to add to your, to your herd. Yeah, absolutely. So we hope. You'll, mm. you'll come here on the 21st of May and enjoy the day with us and, mm. and um, have a nice time. Yeah. John, thank you very much. And uh, we'll uh, talk soon. Thank you, Tina. Great, great having you. Thank you. Good. Uh, there you have it. All the way here from, uh, from John Davenport's place here at the Volda. Make sure you get you on the 21st of May. It's going to be a spectacular auction and you should not, not miss out. A lot of females to choose from and uh, it's a good time to build your herd and to move forward. We have a fantastic breed like this that has proven itself in South Africa. Until next time, cheers.